Hello, I have a computer power supply here that failed. The brand is NZXT model PP800, total power 800 watts. This is a relatively modern thing with SATA and the PCI Express. And it died for some reason. Let's have a look. I took the cover off and this thing fell right out. This is an electrolytic capacitor shell. 10 microfarads, 50 volts. So apparently the capacitor exploded. And I don't even see yet where it is supposed to be. It's not very easy to work on these things. Um, they are so densely packed. Look at this. Something went really wrong here. There is this burn mark on the insulator. And it corresponds to this spot on the primary side. It seems like there are two big MOSFETs or something here and they both failed. Uh, this pin, for example, is not even soldered anymore. <laughs> Let's have a look. This is the heatsink on the primary side and uh, this is the first device. The second one should be here somewhere. And the remains of the exploded capacitor are here. I managed to remove the heatsink and check out these transistors. They are destroyed. And I found one more exploded capacitor and more damage there. Let me shine some light there. Some destroyed resistors and diodes. It seems like half of the primary side is blown. I looked up the transistors and it turns out they are not MOSFETs but NPN devices. Specialized for switching regulator applications up to 400 volts 25 amps. And check this out. The fuse is still fine. And by the way, let's check this MOSFET diode mode and this is n channel device uh, this is the drain this is the source and this is the gate so we should see a diode drop this way and we do see it so it seems to be okay so if i swap the leads there should be nothing this way but now if i touch the gate with positive i charge it and it turns on. And now if I touch the gate with negative, discharge it and the device turns off. So it is fine. Let's have a brief look at the overall architecture of this thing. Here we have AC input, a fuse, some filtering and protection. This must be a bridge rectifier couple of uh, high voltage capacitors. Here we had these two transistors driving the transformer. And uh, this is the uh, isolation between uh, the primary and the secondary side. And the uh, controlling chips are on the secondary side. And uh, some control signals are going to the primary side through the subtocoupler and through transformers. These are uh, massive diodes on the heat sink. And there are several rails here. 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts and negative 12 volts and also 5 volts standby rail. 
And this little uh, board is to drive uh, fans. And of course a lot of wires. So with such a bad damage and no schematic available, this is beyond repair. I hope this was at least slightly interesting. Thanks for watching. Bye.